Good morning, friends. Welcome back. It is Lee with Beauty Over 70 with Lee. And yes, it's Lee. It's not Halloween. <laughs> it is almost the middle of June, but I have, uh, I'm going to be doing a video today uh, on eye mask um, for puffiness under your eyes. So that's what I have on. And let me take my glasses off so we can get going with this video. Some request on um, puffiness under the eyes. We all have it. Well, most of us have it. At least Lee has it. Um, as you know, I have eye issues and I have to use a lot of drops. So I think that I believe it contributes anyway to a lot of the puffiness under my eyes. And as we all know, the eye, the eye pads for puffiness and, and dark circles, it's a temporary fix. Um, I think most of it comes from the kidneys and the, and the liver because those, those two uh, organs work together, as we all know. Uh, so um, this is what I'm using today, and that's what the video is going to be about. So come on in, grab you a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and um, I'll show you what I do for a temporary fix that I like to work with for my eyes. So what I have on today, I put these in the refrigerator and leave them... Um, well, actually, most of the time I just leave them in the refrigerator and I don't have to worry about sticking them in there overnight or a little while to let them get cold because they are soothing and they do feel really refreshing if they're cold. And in my opinion, they work just a little bit better, but maybe it's just the cold coolness in my eyes. But what I'm talking about today these are just light. I feel like I'm in gold today. <laughs> um, but um, these are just little, um, they come in pairs, of course. And these are called Doppel Tree Rejuvenating Eye Mask. And this is what I'm talking about, ladies. There is 18 pair in here. And um, I'm not going to open a packet because if I do, I'm going <laughs> to waste that. So why, this is how they come. Um, they're in this little foil packet just like this and as you can see there are you two one for left and one for right and you put the the larger side of course you know on the outer side and um, they come in this little sleeve as you can see little plastic that you can see and uh, like I said I, I keep mine in the refrigerator pop them on um, if you're lucky enough to have 20 minutes or 30 minutes just to put them on and and relax and you know put on some soothing music if you're lucky enough to do that I'm not lucky enough to do that anymore so I stick mine on and go about my chores and let it do its magic while I'm multitasking <laughs> that's what I do but um, the serum you can see that once you pull them out, there's some serum left in there. So you can always just squirt that out. And when you take your mask off, you can just pat that around if you want because it's not going to hurt you. It's for, for puffies. So here we go, ladies. We're going to pull these off. And we're just going to peel them off just like that. And they do... Like I said, it's a temporary fix. You don't have to rinse it off. You can leave that on there. You can leave that right on there. It doesn't hurt a thing, and you just pat it in. Um, now, before I put, and I'm going to take some of that serum that's in there that I told you about that's in this packet, and I'm going to squirt it out, and I'm going to just pat around the extra. And I don't know that it does a great deal, but I feel that it helps a little bit anyway. But anyway, again, it's the Doppel Tree, and I'm going to list everything down below in the description box that they're called Doppel Tree All Natural Rejuvenating Eye Mask. And there's 18 pair in here, and I get mine from Amazon. There's another one that I use as well, and it's by Pixie. And I keep these in the refrigerator as well. And I believe there's 30 pair in here. And I get these at Target. Um, comes in a little container like that. And I think there's 30 pair in there. But we're not going to talk about those today. But I do use those as well. Comes with a little lifter here. And you can see that it does have, 
you know, they're kind of green, and that's what that looks like, too. But these are nice, too. These are by Pixie. Um, they're Pixie by Petra, and I get these at, um, at Ul um, not Ulta, excuse me, Target. That's where I pick these up. Um, somebody told me at Ulta they were going to start carrying them down the road, but I haven't looked for them lately, so I really don't know. So I just go to Target to get those. But the one I have on today is the uh, Doppel Tree. I know that sounds like a hotel, Double Tree Hotel. It's Doppel, D O P P E L T R E E, Doppel Tree. And again, I'm going to list everything in the description box. Okay, so we pull those off. I feel like they've done a little bit. And I'm going to start out, we're going to do. Um, Something different today. I'm going to do, I'm going to try something different. You're going to be my guinea. I'm going to be a guinea pig and you're going to watch me. <laughs> you're going to watch me. If I mess up, I mess up. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off, as you can see, I have a lot. I'm Irish and I really need to have some laser again to take the, to take care of this broken capillaries in my skin. I have good skin for my age of 74. I feel like I do it smooth. I don't have breakouts. I don't have, it's just that I need some laser to, to take care of these broken capillaries in my skin. Um, and I do have a little bit of rosacea, but <clears throat> excuse me, but I'm going to start out today with um, some It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. And that's what I'm going to start out today to take care of that. It's kind of a primer for the redness. So that's what I'm going to start out with today, ladies. I'm going to spatula that on and that take care of that and rub it in. And this is a great product as well. Again, it's by It Cosmetics. And I'm going to list everything below. So let me grab a sponge here. When I come down to my filming area in the basement, um, I flip my mirror around again for the magnification. When I come down here, I have to load everything up, bring it down here, and um, what I'm going to work with today, and hopefully I did not forget anything. So I'll just put all of that under there to take care of all that redness. And it does a great job before I put my makeup on. And I'm going to be, I've already, of course, cleaned my face, primed with primer, uh, put my serums on. I get to talking and my video gets really long and I apologize for that. So I'm trying to, to run to work really fast today. And if you wonder what I have on, yes, I have on kind of a fall color today, but I just felt like wearing something green. You know, sometimes you just feel like that. And that's what I have on. I just have on a fall color, but that's okay. That's what I felt like today. So I'm too old. To, if I feel like doing something, I just do it. Okay, so we got that on. And like I said before, when I clean my face, I use the When Hope Is Not Enough by Philosophy as my serum. I love that product. And I use the Lancome Renegy Night Cream. I put that on before. That is my moisturizer. And I did not bring it down, but I did lavish under my eye for extra moisture with the Renegy eye cream. I always do that because you need that extra moisture under there. And for my primer, my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. Until I find something different, that's what I use. And I love this product. You all know if you're with me. Okay, today for base... I'm going to use the Lancome Renegy Lift, and I use the Bisque. This is a liquid. I think in my last video, which is probably my all-time favorite makeup that I have ever found, is the Tint A Doll. That is my favorite all-time makeup, and I and I I love that makeup. I really do. Let me get my cosmetic brush, and this is just comes out in a pump, so I'm going to squirt it right on my brush. 
and we're going to use this today and like I said I use the bisque and I think it's number 250 or 60. Um, I use the 260 in one and I think this one is 250 but anyway I need a haircut it's kind of in my eyes but I plan on doing that this week as a matter of fact I go in on my birthday to get a haircut. This one she could get me in, so I had to take that. So I'm using my IT Cosmetic makeup brush. And I need color. I'm all gray. <laughs> I need color bad. Um, get that down there. So. I really appreciate the comments that um, you're leaving me for the Q&A video. I've really got some interesting questions coming in that I'm going to be answering when I do the Q&A video. Things that you want to know about me, so if you have missed that, anything you want to know about me, just draw it in the comment section. I'll answer you. I really will. Okay, again, that is my makeup, and that is the Renegy Lift by Lancome, and that is the liquid. That's what I use today as my foundation, and I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I grab some of that, and I'm not going to do up under my eyes until I do my concealer, and I'm going to use the... Um, the Lancome Adol Concealer today is what I'm going to use. Everything, I'm going to show you my makeup table down here one day when I get done. What a mess I make. <laughs> it's an absolute mess. And if you think doing a video, um, if you don't have a YouTube channel, you think doing a 15, even a 10 minute video takes just a few minutes. You're wrong. It takes a long time. And this is the Lancome Tint Idol uh, with the little applicator. And this is the concealer that I'm going to use. And I use the, uh, the same color of foundation. So I'm going to apply a little bit here, in here, and the outer. And not too much here. That's what I do. A little bit there. And I also put a little bit here. It just works for me. So grab my concealer brush and blend that in. And I've already put I've already put the um, eyeshadow my eyeshadow base on. I have have on the um, uh, Urban Decay Original. That's the found the eyeshadow base that I'm using today. And I've already applied that to my eyes to save time. So we're just going to blend this here. Uh, again, keep the questions coming. Um, anything you want to know about me? Jot it in the comment section. I'm going to pick some and... See what you want to know about me. Okay. There's certain things I have to do upstairs because I have a certain mirror that I have to use because of my vision. So I hope you understand that. So I'm going to rig everything up one day and go up there and show you how I do. I've had some requests for lashes. So I'll put a little blend a little bit here. and then just blend that and pat that on there okay I got that and put the lid back on this where it don't dry out and I'm going to do some eyeshadow today that I have not tried so we're going to try it out 
It may fail, but we're going to try it and see how it works. And let's see, let's get my brow. I need a little bit more brow right here. I have a horrible time with my brows. As they're so sparse. I have to fill in and I use a couple different things on my brows. So I use the um, Anastasia in Auburn is what I'm using. Okay, and then I have some things that I'm going to go back and clean that brow up. But um, okay, let's do some shadow here. And I'm going to line just a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to try this shadow. This happens to be Essence. This is Essence, and I picked this up, and it's called uh, Dancing Green. And I'm going to try this little shadow here. I think Essence, um, I love their mascara, as you well know. I push that. I love that. I use that. And I... I push anything I use because I believe in that Essence Mascara. In my opinion, it'll hold up to any of the mascaras that are on the market. And I use the False Lash Effect by Essence, the green. That's what I use. So I happen to pick up one of these little shadows. I've never tried it before, but I'm going to try it today. And um, I'm going to try it right here and see what happens. So we're going to use my, um, my good old It Cosmetics 217 brush, and I'm going to dip in into this. I'm going to dip into the darker green and tap it off, and you just follow your, follow your bone. That's what I do. Whether you're looking up or looking down, just follow the bone. Get in there and follow the bone. And like I said, I don't know how this is going to work. I've not used it before. I've not played around with it. I'm doing it today for the first time with you guys. So we'll see what happens. Just follow the bone, work it back and forth. Get in there and just push, push on your bone with the brush. You can't hurt it with this brush. I have a lot of lid from my brow down to my lash line, an awful lot of lid as you can see. So as you get older, all that crepey stuff falls down. It's not fun. It really isn't. <laughs> but you got to work with what you got, ladies. So again, this is the green. This is the darkest green that I'm dipping into here. And I'm watching my clock up there because I may have to stop this and then restart it because sometimes my camera has a tendency to start going to the other eye. And just follow the bone. Working as a freelance makeup artist for a lot of years um, with various companies, um, I think that's the probably the number one question that a lot of the the clients have asked is how do you find where do you start it depends on the eye it depends on how much lid you have it depends on the eye shape it depends on a lot of things it really does and I just kind of go down there like that hope you can see what I'm doing but you want to just, and one of my eyes is quite different from the other, as most of them are. And sometimes with all the, get that in there and then I'm going to start blending. But with all that extra aging lid, That did not used to be there. Um, it 
it's difficult. So as I said, you just work with what you got. Blend, blend, blend. Blend it out. I'm taking another, I'm taking the uh, Heavenly Luxe it eye brush, and this is just my blender brush, and I just blend that out. Just a windshield wiper back and forth, just whatever works for you. It's just what I do. Again, I'm just telling you what I do. I'm going to flip my mirror, excuse me, just to kind of see. And I'm going to try a little bit of highlight. I'm going to try a little bit of this highlight right there to see what this is going to do for me. I don't know, but I'm going to definitely try if this is going to work. I just try to stay away from a lot of shimmers, but we're going to see what happens with this green. I'm using the color right here, the, the frosty right there. I'm not zooming in with my camera. I should take my lens and probably zoom it in, but um, I'm not doing that, so I hope you can see what I'm doing. If you see a little scratch on my hand, I kind of did that the other day when I went to the grocery store. I have no idea what I done, but you ever get little things on you and you have no idea what you done? But it's part of life. I don't want a lot of sparkle, so this may come off. I don't know. When I edit this, if it looks totally bad, um, you won't see it. You may see it, you may not when I edit the video. But anyway, there. I think that's kind of pretty. And get a little bit of highlight with this highlighter color, the light color. That's what I'm dipping into now is the lighter color for the bone. Not too much, but a little bit. Okay, that's what that looks like. That's the green. It's really not my best color, believe it or not, because my eyes, I'm going to fluff that out just a little bit more blended. Fluff. Blend. <laughs> Um, my eyes are green, so it, it's really not the best. Okay, let's grab some liner here. And I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Bronze. I'm going to put that on since I've got a little bronze color in my uh, scarf here. I'm going to line just a little bit here and then put on some mascara. And then we'll go over that, just the outer portion. Better try a new pencil that I picked up, and it's one of the Ulta pencils, and I believe they're eight dollars. And this happens to be the olive green, and I'm going to put this one over that bronze to give me a little bit more uh, look. Tie the green in, so I'm going to see how this works. Okay, the olive green, and it's the Ulta pencil, and I believe they're eight dollars. I think that's what I paid for it. Just blend that in. I didn't want a lot of green, so I put the bronze, I, I used the bronze and then put that over it to tie the color in. I think it'll be okay. I might have to tweak that shadow a little bit more, but you know, that's what it is. So let's get a little bit of my favorite mascara on, which is the Essence Princess Lash in the green tube. Absolutely my favorite. I'll put a little bit more under here. Like I said, I kind of preset my eyes, so. And put some on the bottom. I don't have a lot of lashes. Not a lot. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. There's not a lot of lashes. I absolutely wish I could use my 
go, excuse me, go back to wearing the extensions, but uh, maybe down the road I can. Because they're so, so convenient. I've got a little. This is Maybelline. And where is my magnifying glass? I believe it's called Almond Hustle 133, and it's Maybelline. Maybelline Almond Hustle number 133. And I'm going to be using that today, but I am going to be putting a lighter color over it. pretty color and I'm gonna blot that I'm sure many of you are saying Lee why did you choose in the middle of almost the middle of June to use dark colors I don't know I'm a Gemini I have a birthday next week I'm a Gemini I don't know I'm very spontaneous so just whatever and this happens to be um, a lipstick this is CoverGirl and this is um, Coral Dreams, Coral Dreams by CoverGirl. And this is a lighter, warm tone, coral tone. I love to wear the corals uh, in the spring and summer. Those are my absolute favorites for my... Uh, my pedicure, uh, my blushes, and of course all that. And I'll put just a little bit of gloss over it. And this happens to be Revlon Coral 243. Revlon Coral 243. And it's just a little bit of gloss. Just to give me a little bit of sheen there. And I am going to use a blush today one of my favorite blushes in the coral tones and it's by milani and it's called luminoso 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 and um, this is one of my favorite blushes by milani and this blush is absolutely beautiful it really is it's a gorgeous blush and um, uh, that's what i'm using today i'll let here contour palette and I'm just going to put a little bit with my contour brush. A little bit there. Down through there. Striping myself up here. And my sideburns out of the way. And down the nose. A little bit on the tip. Okay. And my brush to blend this. And I'm using the... Um, my contour brush here to blend that in. And sometimes I'll take the small end and just blend this way with the smaller end of that around my nose and on the tip. And going back to my blush now. And again, this is um, Milani Luminoso, one of my favorites. And it's highly pigmented, as you can see. So tap it off there. You 
Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? That blush. I'm not talking about my cheek. I'm talking about the blush. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It really is. I hope you can see that. Going up here. Showing my gray there. I want to make sure I get enough, but I don't want to glow with for men, that's for sure. Okay. That is a gorgeous blush. It, it really, really is. Okay. That's basically... I wanted to try something. I wanted to try this little um, color pop pack it here and see what happens. It's 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 really difficult to do with a brush, I think. It does better with your fingers. As you can see, my brush is flat. My brush is flat, so that's how I'm trying to laying that color on there. And I could get much more. I could get much more with my finger, but like I said, with this little pot, I'm gonna, it's hard to get my finger in there with that. Um, okay. I'm going to blend this just a wee bit more, and I think we are just about done. Put a little bit of highlight in the corner. Right in the corner of my eye, I'm going to put just a little bit of my little brush here. Open the eye up right in there. Just a little highlight. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Um, and again, remember my Q&A. All of that with my Hourglass Ambient Palette 1. That's my Hourglass, the Our Ambient Palette 1 is the one I'm going to be using. I'm going to go over that and just swipe it with my big powder brush, my big fluff brush like this. And what I do is just take it from one side to the other, starting with the lighter side, and I just sweep it right across. And this really gives you a very luminous glow um, after just setting everything. And I usually just take a couple down on the neck it just gives you a very dewy uh, not shiny just a very dewy a dewy glow let's see if I take my it cosmetic fan brush and see if I had any fallout there and I think that's it, ladies. I think that's a, I think we're finished with this particular video. And um, what I was um, going to say was I um, was using the um, the iPads, and I will list all of these below, both of them. But the one I use, I'm definitely going to use list below. And uh, I thank you for watching today. Again, as always, I thank you for your time. And um, just uh, I want to leave you with my favorite words. Go out and make today better than yesterday. And always remember that I love you. And 
come back to see me for future videos and uh, I hope you're having a great um, almost summer I hope you have a great weekend like I said it's Saturday here and I'm filming and uh, my things I have on today I have some um, Erica Lyon um, gold tone earrings on they're kind of a brushed gold earrings on today and I have on some bangles that I've had for years in the gold tone I wear more silver than I do gold and I have on I think it's a cupio um, or a um, um, I think it's a cupio shirt that I have on and this is just an old um, Jones New York shirt that um, excuse me not shirt but scarf that I've had for many many years and I love these colors and like I said I just felt like wearing green today so um, again I thank you for watching today and I do come back to see me and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button where it'll ring the bell and you will get notified every time I upload videos which is every Thursday Try to stay on track with that. Remember, I love you, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye. Love you.